Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. Continuing the topic uh, that we started in the previous video, we are talking about arrays. Now we are going to see how we can do the same, but working with algorithms. So let's create here, pressing out insert after selecting academy.devdojo, a new package called arrays. And then let's create a new class called arrays01. And then PSVM and press tab. So if you're not familiar with shortcuts, just keep right clicking into everything. Okay, so let's imagine before we go into that problem, let's imagine that we have grades and we would like to get the average of uh, all the grades that we have. How would we do it? Imagine that we have grades that goes from uh, 0 to 10. Some countries, they go from 0 to 100. But let's just keep it here as double. And let's say we would like three grades. So grade 0, 1, uh, 9.5. And then let's duplicate this line twice. Control D, Control D. And let's say that we have three grades. So this one is 2.5, and then this one is 7, uh, 7, whole number. Okay, so how do we get the average of these grades? Well, the average, you know, is the sum of all the values divided by the quantity. In this case, let's say that we would like to get the average score. It would be the sum of everything. So basically, it would be grade 1 plus grade 2 plus grade 3. And all of these should be divided by the amount of grades that we have. In this case, 3. Let's check this. Salt. And then uh, we are going to get here the average. Control Shift F10. And as you can see here, we have 6.33. But that's not very, let's say, scalable. So we have three grades, but what ha happens if we have seven? We have to keep creating variables for that. And as you probably saw, every time we do this, basically this is what we're doing. We have here one grade, we have two grades, and we have three grades. And you have here grade zero one, grade zero two, and grade zero three. So as you can see, this is not very scalable because every time we want a new grade, we have to increase uh, the number of variables. Now, what we need is one place, for example, here where we are going to create like grades. And this place is going to do the following. It's going to store these three variables in an array. So basically, I should have done that in a previous video. We should do this. Now, when I talk about the grades, instead of having like them separately, 9.5, 2.57. So let me add here, 9.5, 2.5, and 7. So instead of having this, I'm going to have something like this, 9.5, 2.5, and then 7. So one variable uh, referencing these three numbers. So how do we do that in Java? First, we have to learn the syntax of arrays. So the syntax of arrays in Java is first you decide the type, then right after you use the bracket, give a name. So this is a variable, but it's a variable that is saying this is an array of doubles and give the name, any name. Okay, so this is basically how you declare, but when we are talking about arrays, we have to tell, at least in Java, how big is the space in memory that we would like to allocate. So remember, what's the size of this array here? So the size of this array is 3, right? So I need to tell Java, hey, allocate a space in memory that's going to store 3 doubles. So let me just move here and add here, double grades. So I want I store I want to store in memory uh, three doubles, and these three doubles should be referenced by the same variable. Now, coming back, how do we do that? Basically, we have to use the keyword new and the same type as you have on the left side, so new double. And then you tell, hey, I want to create a space in memory that's going to allocate three doubles. So basically, you have the type followed by brackets, 
just out of curiosity in Java it doesn't matter if you put here or if you put here it's a convention that you should use close to the type because when you read the type you want to know as soon as possible because we read from left to right that this is an array of doubles so that's why we usually have here but it works the same way having it here or here but this should be exactly after double you cannot have it after new or before new so here i'm saying hey i'm going to create a variable that's going to have a reference that's going to have a reference basically a variable that's going to have a reference to a spacing memory with three spaces basically this is what i'm doing so when i do this and i'm going to copy this line right here every time we are working with uh primitive arrays basically primitive arrays are arrays where you have the type that's a primitive one basically the type one of those eight types where you write and the keyword gets a different color they have default values so and i'm not talking about this right now because we talk about this in the java course but you can search on google default uh, primitive type values in java and it will show you that each one of the, the types they have like some default values okay so for example for double is 0, 0.0 so when you are creating an array and this array is a primitive type every time you allocate the space for example in this case we are allocating a space in memory all the spaces will be allocated with the default value so basically this one will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and then this is what's happening so basically you have here a space in memory with three indexes and each one of them is getting uh, initialized with zero that's the default value for double how can we see that well let's go back let's just print to print a position remember the size is three but the index it's from what to what remember the size is three but the index of these guys it starts with zero so basically it will go up to two so we have here zero index one two so i can do this let's go back then i call the reference variable grades i'm not using uh new anymore i open the brackets and i say the index so i will press ctrl d ctrl d now i have one and two okay William, now i'm getting all these positions let's see how it looks like ctrl shift f10 and as you can see we have zero zero and zero basically just by creating the array because it's a primitive type it has some values stored in memory hmm interesting so William, now that we have all of this what happens if i try to get a position that does not exist well java is going to give you for example something that is called runtime exception because what i'm doing here i'm saying hey i want basically when i say doubles position three java is going to come here and hey uh, give me position three well there is no position three how am i supposed to get something to you so when you execute this program you are going to notice that we have this exception saying hey there is no bounds for the index three when you see this array index out of bound exceptions it means that you are trying to access a position that do, does not exist okay so we know that to access we can uh, use the grades brackets and the index position so how do we assign the grades well to assign the grades is basically the same thing as we have here so i'm saying hey in position zero i would like to store 9.5 nice so ctrl d ctrl d if i do this i it's going to work i'm just overriding the same space in memory but i want position one position two this one 2.5 and this one seven now i'm going to copy these three lines because i want to print again the results so basically when i created it was all zero then i change change the space in memory for each one of the indexes to these values and then i'm printing again ctrl shift f10 and as you can see we have zero 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 and then we have the values that i assigned okay so we know, now that we have this it means that if i want to change the size of the array i have to create another array or increase the number here so in java the 
unfortunately arrays they have a fixed size so we have of course better options we are going to learn in the dev one for all but arrays it always a fixed size you cannot change after the array is created so if you want to store 10 you can come here and create 10 but you have to compile your program again and start the execution but the advantage is you don't have to create more reference variables okay so William, now that we have the grades how do we get the average well the average is simple i will call here the average i'm reusing the variable i'm not declaring again and what's the average basically each one of these values so grades one zero one and uh two so basically i'm getting the same values this one this one this one and then i'm going to just add the parentheses and now i have to divide by the size but the size of the array is something that we know here and java also knows the size of the array how can we get the size of the array it's simple we call the name of the reference grades dot length so let's just press ctrl slash here to make a comment and let's print here salt the length of the array is array oh, sorry grades dot length so let's see the length of this array ctrl shift f10 so the length is three the size is three so if you look here the size is three now if i come here and i change the size i will change to five but from these five positions only three i'm assigning values but remember you are creating five spots in memory you are using three but even though you're using three the other ones are zero because all of them are initialized with zero because it's a double so ctrl shift f10 you're going to see that the length of the array is five now so you have to be very careful because if you take the average like we did here it's not uh, unless you consider the, the the next two positions as someone is scoring zero in the the test you would have a problem so the average now we have here grades that length and now i'm going to print average then average so ctrl shift f10 so the average here is the uh, 3.8 and here is 6.33 so what is wrong here so if you compare we have exactly the same ones grade one grade two grade three and we have here grades uh, 9.5 9 2.5 and 7. so william what's the difference here what's going wrong remember the size the length of the array is five so it's dynamic since here we have hard coded three we know for sure that's working but here we change it to five and based on this number this is what is going to be returned when we call grades.length so make sure that we change here to three and then control shift f10 we have exactly the same average here and we have the same average here so i think it's a good point to stop this is just an introduction to arrays we have way more classes because i think this is one of the let's say most a little bit complicated topics when learning uh, how to develop with java so i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye